Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So, things have become a little bit dire in the south. The Night Gods took a lot of damage versus the clan mechs just south of us and were forced to retreat. So, I had to bring in the first static defense unit to help defend the south part of Karima. Magashi province have taken a small part of the outskirts of the city. So, we're hoping that our first static defense force can defend and either take back or destroy that base that the Magashi province has taken over. All right, so here we are here. We're going to move forward. Um, the goal in this one, we got an enemy lance over here, but we got to destroy this base back here. So we got the arty for it. This, this unit is known for its artillery. So we're going to go ahead and use some of that. Now the mechs have changed slightly. We do have five urban mechs in play now. Um, the main mech uh, or the command lance uh, mech has got two large and small. A board, bolt on mortar five. I was able to get triple strength Myanmar into this thing. So I was able to get the bolt-on mortar 5 on this, which means it's got like 8 turns of continuous mortar fire. Now it's only standard ammo, but at least we have some indirect fire capability on this mech now. We've also got a mine dispenser 5. And then um, we've also got another urban mech now that's got a Thunderbolt missile launcher on it. We got standard ammo and high explosive. We only got 4 rounds of each, so we're limited with fire on that. Uh, it's also backed up by an LRM-5, a bolt-on rocket 15, and a medium laser. Now we've only got incendiary for the LRM. I'm hoping we find some half tons of ammo so I can switch it between incendiary and, you know, something, maybe mine clearing ammo or something along that line. I, I had to take the PPC off of this mech just because of heat gen and the fact that I don't want to be killing our, um, our minefields. So that's why I took it off of there. Then we've got our two uh, um, urban mechs with the mortar eights on them. And then we've got the last one here. It's got a uh, rotary auto cannon two on it. Uh, with one ton of ammo, pair of mine dispenser 15s to back it up, add a little bit more minefield um, uh, capability to deny some enemies, Ro a bolt-on rocket launcher 20 and a medium laser, and then we've got our standard three vehicles. So we're going to move up. Yes, I, I want to engage this lance quickly if I can. I'll make it happen. I'm really undecided whether or not, this is, cause just so you know this is a two-skull mission, I'm really undecided. There's an urban mech. Galleon, a Javelin. I'm undecided whether or not I want to um, allow the enemy to bring in reinforcements or not. They've got three re they got three waves of reinforcements. Uh, so I don't know whether I want to allow that to happen or just quickly pull off the match here because we do want to try and get as much salvage as we can out of this mission. Um, really bad shots in the Irby over there. Let's just take a couple pot shots with the larges on this guy. Oh, this galleon's got to go. Yeah, we'll just go with the two larges for now. Yeah. That's a miss. I don't know if those are all rocket launchers or SRM2s or what they what he's got on them. Orders. I think we'll hold off with you. We're going to move up. We'll drop some uh, incendiary maybe on this guy. Leave the Thunderbolt off for now. Failed to connect. Ready for orders. Heading out. How much armor does this thing have? Unknown. Standard turrets. So they do have turrets back here they could hit us with. We got our thumper that we're going to be using against the base, the enemy base, so I think we'll be okay in that respect. Should be able to pot shot some arty over there. Ah, shit. Yeah, I know. It's kind of difficult when they're in fire range of my buildings and they've got spawn protection. Yes, Commander. Give me a minute. I'll get on it. Understood. Moving fast. All right, let's see what we can do to this guy here. If anything, not a whole lot. Let's just hold off on the SRMs, but we'll fire the alarms on this guy. On. Got lots of alarm ammo. Ready for orders. 
All right, Skippy. Let's move. I don't know what kind of range you've got. Do we have enough? We got enough for that turret. So if we do high explosive, attack the ground here. Engaging with target. Okay, looks like the building's took a bunch of damage. Systems holding. Not a bunch, but a little bit anyway. Standing by. We're probably going to have to push those buildings. I think. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Let's get up here. Double time. Let's go. I think we need to shoot that galleon though. He'll survive two direct hits. We got better chance on this guy, so let's fire him. Oof. Failed to connect. Yep, I know. Standing by. Let's just get up here. Time. Let's go. We have chaff on this guy. I don't think we do. Asso Inferno, Fast Gam, Airburst. Guided. Yeah. Come on. 4.3, huh? Look, guided. Actually, let's switch this. Let's go this route. On it. We got to get something into play. Damn it! No, he didn't shoot. They will be done. The difference between On this the guy and our main mech is this guy doesn't have speed, so. <laughs> He's got to get into a position where he can get direct fire going. Okay, took seven points of damage. That's not bad. It's a start. Shit. Barely scratched. Looks like they've got their turrets up and running. Of course they do. Sniper turret, so that's the one got we gotta take that turret out. Commander. That turret is out of just out of range. Well, they got more guys over here. Well, this should be fun. Jenner, Cicada, Mongoose, Pack Rat. Light LRM turret. It's out of range. 46% on this guy, though. Hmm. 52 on the Irby. 65 with the high explosive. Let's take it. Firing. You have my attention. Do I? Let's get into here. Sixty on the sides. If we get lucky, we double shot the side. We can probably ah uh, crap. Probably kill it. I take it back. Got to hit it first. First things first. We neutralize the missiles on this galleon because I have no idea if these are rockets or not. Did it say when I checked when I clicked on it? damage doesn't say what do you need all right buddy uh, it's time to go to work Engaging target 
time to go to work. That's a miss. Not the most ideal position. It's a little better. No shooting, just running. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine percent. Fifty-five. We got thirty rounds, so let's only fire three, but we'll shoot at this guy. Firing. All right, a little bit of damage. Weird positions here. So if we can lay enough mines over here, we should be able to take care of these three lights. Yeah, so he's starting to take some damage. So that's where the mines have got to go. Ready for orders. Can't get a side shot in that vehicle, huh? Orders. All right, let's get on this guy. Yeah, they are rockets. That guy's got to go. Waiting for orders. He's got to go. Crank up those machine guns. Damn it! Target's taking a critical hit. Is he going next? He is. Urban Max going too. Okay. So we got another mortar Urban Mech left, which is going to drop some mines over here. And then our Thumper is going to try and go after that turret. Okay, he's retreating. Good stuff. Still firing though. Crap. It's a lot of sixes. That's a lot of sixes. Under heavy fire. Yep. We gotta kill these buildings as soon as possible. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Um Thumper artillery emplacement. Sniper turret. So this is probably the guy that's got the. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, nice shot. The one that's um, hitting us. The sniper is probably like got PPC. I ah, fucked the camera up again. PPCs and stuff. Good to go. Roger that. Okay. Um, uh, yep. Engaging with target. Okay, couple of misses, that's good. Damage minimal. Everybody needs to spread out. What's this guy got on him? pair of machine guns. It's already come through the minefield. Did a fair bit of damage to him too. Twenty-one. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm listening. I'm moving out. Much as I hate to waste all of these shots on this guy, we gotta do it. Affirmative. Oh, for Christ's sake. Nice. Bailed. I'll take it. 
I'll take it. Not much else we can do about that. We got 12 and 13 for the mortars with the minefields. And we got these guys going on 18. I was hoping to fatten those minefields up before those guys move, but they're not moving very far, so. Yeah, this guy's going to lose his legs. This guy hasn't really touched the mines yet, so he'll be taking them this turn. Here he comes. 13, okay. Shit. Gotta get out of there. Reporting internal damage. That's all right. You're going to be backing up. You're going to be backing up. We've got to get you down closer to the ah, this turret's still out of range, damn it. Uh can we hit the Javelin's only 27, though. Alright, I'm leaving this off. We need this for the, we need this to hit their, their bases, their base and stuff, so... Firing on target. <sighs> Standing by. Moving to position. Okay, back up a little bit. Take some pot shots on this guy. I want to leave my mines down here. Lost target. No, I think we hold off. God damn it. Commander. Affirmative. Enjoy that minefield. with guided how much has he got on him here not much left wait this is this this is this side I'm gonna go this way and hope we kill him nice vehicle trash excellent that's all right This guy's been causing his problems. Firing for Think I hit something good. Okay. Standing by. Can you get behind him? You cannot. I copy. Severe damage, but I think we want to go... We don't have range on this guy. Target acquired. We gotta start applying damage. Good to go. Engaging. Crap. Okay. Missed. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, these guys are really made for base defense, not for attacking. 
Not for definitely not for defending against turrets, you know. Could keep pushing forward and try and go after uh It's putting me in a bad spot, though. Let's try and deal with these guys first. Sounds good. I'm moving. Okay. Um, do we just shoot you, or do we just, or we go after the javelin? Maybe. Ninety-five on the javelin. I think it's the better choice. Drop the mortar on it. Target confirmed. A little bit of collateral damage, but... A critical strike. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, right, what, three or four points damage? Okay. Mongoose. Should have taken more leg damage. Did he? He did. We should be able to clear these guys' legs here pretty quick, I think. Once that javelin drops, this guy's going to take a lot of damage. Yep. See ya. That Jenner's in the same situation now. He's standing in a big fat minefield. We're taking a lot of damage, though. We need to get. I need to get an. I got to get an AMS into play. A Mark II AMS. Fuck! That's a lot of damage. I'm taking structural damage. Yep, I saw that. Reporting. Oh, you need to keep moving forward. We gotta get you on that base. Let's go this route. Okay. Yeah. Liking that. Go this route. Change. Oh, crap. Fatten up the minefields over there a little bit. Ready for orders. Mm, we're just going to back up. That. Just gonna back up for now. Yes, Commander. Okay, I need to sprint you. We gotta get up there fast. See if I can get some eyes on that turret. Target lock on enemy. Got his arm anyway. Reporting critical hit. What's up, boss? On it. Don't know if this guy's gonna move. Either way, let's just drop another fat minefield in there. Just to ensure that if he does move, he's going down. Commander. Got it. We 
we go for the kill on that guy or do we try to take a building? Target the medium building. Firing on target. All right, we missed, but we did do a we did do a little bit of damage. So that's good. Crap! That guy's got his uh, eyes on now. Fuck that turret's gotta go. Not much armor left in that location. They're inflicting systems. I can't take much more of this. <laughs> Yes, Commander. Heading out. Full speed. 48 with the rock. 78 on this guy. Okay, we got his leg anyway. Target. Come on, bail out. Okay. Yep. See ya. I'm listening. God, his arm's almost gone. That's the... Go this way. It's a tough one because I can replace the stuff in the, in this, uh, on this mech, so I'm not that worried about it. Nice. But I just don't want to lose it in the it's fight because we're gonna need the uh, gonna need the lasers here. We gotta get you closer. Gotta get you closer. Turrets in range now, so that's nice. Uh, let's try and get this guy with splash damage. Let's go against the big building. Nice. Orders. Affirmative. Okay. Think I hit something good. Waiting for orders. On my way. Split up a bit. Drop some guided on this guy. Okay, there goes his left side. Scored a critical hit. Orders. Double time. Let's go. Okay. Target this guy. Taking the shot. All right, all right. Yes, Commander. Get in the trees, just in case they shoot at you. Sixteen percent, huh? Should be able to take these buildings, and then we can worry about the turrets. Let's go after an attack ground. Confirm. Ooh, we got two of them. We got two of them or one? Two of them buildings went down. Oh, this is only one. Okay. 
Yeah, you know where the threat is. Light damage, Commander. Light damage, Commander. It's good news for us. Come on, just walk forward and blow that leg right off you. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere. Come on, buddy. I don't think he took any damage. Nope. Yes, I hear you. Hmm. It's gonna back you up. We're gonna go after this uh, urban mech. Come on, go down. There he goes. Beautiful. Actually, let's just do this and go after this with high explosive. We got one round left. Hopefully, it splashes over and kills both buildings. There we go. All right, primary objective is completed. Now, Mike, the question is, is do I want to stay here and get pounded by the uh, artillery? So they're not going to get reinforcements. Good to go. Which is a good thing. I copy. Ooh, shit, we got mines back there. Shit. Normally I would stay and fight it out, but I think we're going to move towards the extraction point. going to be several turns before we're there anyway, so it's yes, not like, man. uh, it's going to be an instant extraction. Alright, some guided rounds on this guy. Waiting for orders. Heading out. Got a chance to inflict some damage to the Thumper turret, so we'll go ahead and do that. Cover our retreat. If we can kill the Thumper turret you. before we're out, then it'll be worth staying. Otherwise, it's not worth staying. Copy that. All right, 37. That's not bad. Showing minor damage. Where are you going, buddy? You're not going anywhere. I wonder if, um, because I notice this a lot with uh, enemy mechs that if they've lost a leg, they'll generally not walk through a minefield. And I wonder if, oh, never mind. I wonder if being in a minefield will prohibit them from walking if they've lost a leg. charge out of here, are you? Standing by. 
All right, you are done your decoy mission. Let's get out of there. Standing by. Back up a little bit. See if we can get this turret at least finished before we go. Standing by. Just keep firing on them. Nothing. Waiting for orders. Full speed at two We're hexes. Shooting. Just running. Good to go. It's crazy trying to play other missions other than base That's defense with these guys. Fast. Because you you just can't there's no speed in an urban mech, right? <laughs> like two or three hexes is like just a terrible uh Terrible movement speed. Major armor loss. Reporting minimal damage. Reading you loud and clear. Awaiting orders. Confirmed. Full speed, let's get out of here. Yeah, those guys are out of range now. Firing on target. We're almost out of uh, ammo. Receiving you. Roger. Waiting for orders. I'm going to uh, just move to the out point here, and if there's any kind of highlights. Ready for orders. I'll uh, cut back in, but I, I, you know, barring like losing a mech or destroying one of their turrets, uh, there's no point in showing you the rest of this, Order. so I'll see you in a minute. On my way. Hunkering down. Alright, this should be it. There it is. We were able to knock out the LRM turret, which is awesome, but... So their reinforcements have arrived. Excellent. And we can go. Mission successful. All right, let's see how we did here. Shouldn't be a lot of stuff available for us to take, but that's fine. So this is mostly gear I'm looking for. Um, Chikadas, uh, Urban Mech parts, three of them. Gonna drop them in for now, since that's pretty much all we're allowed to use. Uh, do we have, we don't have rocket launches. Rocket launcher 40 or 20s, I mean. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any of those. I'll probably take that to sell. Standard fusion cores. Regular LRM ammo. We got that already. You see 10 ammo we're good for if we need it. Um, so yeah, maybe we just take three standard engines. Because these are worth, these will be 100 grand each. Or, yeah. 100 G's each. Or, uh, I'm sure we'll get heat sinks. This is worth 816. It's a little more than one of these guys, so we'll take the core instead. Make a few extra coins. Where are you here? Alright. Okay, a bunch of mech parts, which we'll probably end up just getting rid of. The two LRM5s. We'll hang on to those. Uh, let's get rid of five medium lasers and keep one. Oh, we got the rocket 20s. That's nice. A small laser we'll get rid of. SRM4. We've got one. Uh, let's keep both of those just in case. The cores can go. That can go. That can go. Yep, 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 yep. Coins, 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 coins. We'll keep that. And we'll hang on to the machine gun ammo for now. Nice, that was a good uh, that was good dollars in that mission. All right, so after successfully destroying that Magashi base, we pulled back to an area just outside uh, Karima Town, and um, we were repairing and refitting when I guess the units that were supposed to reinforce that base decided to push forward and attack us here. So we're trying to defend this base for. Um, for Karima here. Uh, nothing was working here, so they got engineers coming in quickly to try and get the uh, 
get stuff back online here. But it looks like they had a, uh, a bunch of um, copters here as well to defend the base. So we're going to go up against, I don't know how many guys coming to attack here. So that's what we're up against right now. All right, let's move a little bit. I'm on it. I think we're going to just like hammer this with mines down here to start. I'll make it happen. Short range missiles are out. We're just going to flood down here with mines, I think. So the copters are pulling back to, to uh, protect the base. I think he was feeling a little je jealous we didn't shoot mines for him, so he just moved over into the minefield. So this will be interesting to see what uh, what kind of defense, or what kind of assault guys they've got here, because they've got a... looks like this is a medium lance. Clint, this is like a one and a half skull mission too, so we'll see how it goes. The last one we did was a two skull. So I'm interested in to see how this will play out here. Now we can't use high explosive um, on those guys over there because we'll clear the minefield, but we can shoot at the guy down here. Nice. Good to go. Roger that. Alrighty. He was feeling left out last time. Let's get him included here. So I'll be interested to see how the mines work against uh, a medium lance here. The lighter lance is that's not so that's not so bad. You're basically pulling legs off everything. Gonna spread these minefields around a little bit. Now we got two mine dispensers on the AC-20 guy. Yes. So I guess the VTOLs will now engage the enemy. In theory. Besides just sitting there making noise. Okay. He's using incendiary ammo? Yes, Commander. Okay, we're going to get on this guy here. And firing. Yeah, man. Really sorry about these, these copters. I'm going to try and stay away from them, but... I'm going to try and make it my personal mission, mission this week to see if I can find the sound files for them. Stay out of that guy's earshot. 13%, 15, 13. And that guy hasn't moved yet. So we'll fire the guy with the best chance to hit here. Nah. Negative damage. I almost want to shoot down my own VTOLs now. Okay, how much did you take? 19. That's not bad. Commander. For one round of uh, missiles. Location confirmed. Just fire on this guy. Taking a shot. So I do have another mech. We did have uh, manage to get enough parts. Standing by. So we do have another mech on the way. Moving out. And the ability to put it into play. It is another urban mech, obviously. So uh, where's the marshal right there? Inferno. So it will be coming into play very shortly. Wish they would just shoot those guys down. Let's move over here. Affirmative. 
I'm thinking about just not engaging these guys. Copy that. Because if we stay away, they may just lose their, lose their legs. You can just get these guys to lose their legs. Well, they're going to get two more lances shortly. There'll probably be one here. Yeah, he took 43. Oh, 28. I thought it said 43 there for a second. Nice. Waiting for orders. Yeah, these guys don't need to expose, right? Drop some fast game over there. Then our other guy will drop the fast game on this side. Yes, Commander. You got the Thunderbolt. Let's just pull back. We'll drop some incendiary on somebody. Chameleon, probably. They're going to get reinforcements soon, too, so... Standing by. Might as well not... Uh... There we go. Might as well not um, waste ammo if we don't have to. All right, both 28. Let's fire on this guy. Ooh, nice shooting. Come on, shoot the copters down. Okay, shoot for the swift wind. Okay. Do whatever you want, buddy. I live to serve. Oh, you're the rack. You are the rack. Uh, this is out of range anyway. All right, just just fire three. Firm. Rack two doesn't do a lot of damage, but um, at least it's, at least it gives us so, some ballistic firepower support. Uh, off camera, a little while ago, I lost one of the mortars, so. I, we did have three urban mechs with with a mortar each, but we lost one of them, so I replaced one with a Brack two and the Thunderbolt that we picked up in, a, in an off-camera mission. Okay, so he took what seventeen. Nice. Thank you for helping me fix my sound. Yes, Commander. On my way. Okay, so how are you doing? Yeah, see, the, I mean... Let's go on this guy. I might get lucky and hit the leg. Roger that. Got a small laser. Solid connection on that one. Okay, who do we got next? Standing by. Back up got over it. here. Yeah, we need to drop the the uh, fast cam on this side. On target. I'm interested to see if they get a second lance from this direction. I might not even engage it and just see where go. it's at when it. Uh, Emerges past yeah. the minefields. Because the combination of this flames and the mines really ties the enemy up. Alright. That's alright. Standing 
Yeah, it was weird. I was I wasn't gonna upgrade uh, Rogue Tech. I'll do what you ask. And I thought, ah, it's at 1.117 now, so I think maybe I'll just, I'll go ahead and upgrade. And I set it to upgrade, and then I checked the uh, thing, and it's like, oh, this version fixing uh, fixing crashes. And I'm like, nah. Oh, shit, we got collateral damage. That was nice. Ooh, I don't know what the hell he dropped, but that was pretty good. Yeah, so it was like, it was a, a thing to fix crashes. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want any more crashes. But it's been running just as stable as the last version was, so. So he took 10 more. Commander. Yeah, you don't need to do much. Just fire the incendiaries in this guy. Target. If we don't get him, maybe we set the ground on fire. Oh, That's right. So the next urban mech we got coming in, I'm not going to tell you about about it yet because it's uh, inter interesting one. I don't quite have the proper weapons for it. Story of my life. I never quite have the re weapons I need for any mech that I have, but uh, I think what we got on it is actually pretty good. And I'm hoping that um, internal structure damage. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, when we get it into play, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. But we'll see. Nice. Now there are some. I mean, I could have gone a couple of other ways with it, but I mean, I can't really talk about it because you haven't seen it yet. But you know, there's a few ways to go with it. But I think I think the way it's loaded out is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It's round three. We've got seven rounds after this. We're good. We're good. Our allies are actually doing some good work too, which is nice. Have a seat, buddy. What's up, boss? I remember with my, me and my friends playing BattleTech, tabletop BattleTech. And um, we used to just laugh at the Clints, like they were just so bad with the AC-10 and stuff. And we were just used to laugh, and it was like, now you see it in game here too. And I'm still laughing at them because it's just such goofy looking mech. Target acquired. And they never seem to do well. And I don't know whether it's just a, because it's a Order. the curse of the Clint or what it is. That was, okay, with the exception yeah. of the Clint Eastwood mech, because that thing was phenomenal. I got nothing bad to say about that other than that it, it killed me. I copy. All right. Receiving you. Scipio Africanus. Let's drop. Uh, let's give this guy some Inferno. Straight on his CT. Copy that. Waiting for orders. Let's clear. Let's clean this Clint up. Try for the leg. Probably get it. Firing. Hopefully we cluster there first. Ah, uh, got the core and the leg, so whatever. Target eliminated. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Excellent. The director, it must fall. The director, it must fall. Now, usually there's a second lance that comes in with these guys, but I'm wondering if it's fire starter, cross cut. All right, those guys, those guys are garbage. You have my attention. Let's get back up the hill here. These guys are almost done. We'll have to engage the other guys over there in a second. Let's just fire on this guy. <laughs> just gotta wait for that mortar to land. Oh, they got a gladiator back here, too. Oh, they got two lances back there. Okay. Cool. I don't think they can take the base out because they're just not... Um, they're too far away for the, from the fight. 
Nice. Yes, Commander. Let's get some HEM while we can. Yeah, we don't have, uh... These guys are just out of range. Let's put it on the fire starter, because if we miss, then it might splash backwards to the guys behind him. Ah, oh, well, we didn't miss. So nice. And another Clint back there. What's this guy? Another gladiator? I didn't see how much damage he took in the legs. This guy is what? Archer! <gasps> yes, bloody please! I await your command. I still have to decide on what I'm going to be um, allowing for these guys. Like, I don't know if I'll be allowed to be able to take the archer. Locking on. Wing and a miss. I think if I leave it as all old parts, though. Might be worth it. Oh god, that guy's gonna die. I don't know how much damage he took, but that swift wind can't have that much on him. I wish there was a way you could, like... Uh, I'm gonna throw this out there for the Rogue Tech team to try and figure out. Amalgamate games together where all the salvage goes into one Good to go. kind of kitty that you could actually make draw and make mechs out of. So rather than just having your own like Lance, they say it's your they say it's your company, but it's not a company because a company is like twelve mechs, right? So let's put uh, some fast cam down over here. So I mean I wish there was a way you could amalgamate salvage. No joy. Or pull salvage out of one game save and put it into another somehow. It'd be nice to have a, like a third party extractor where you could open up a game save and grab some items out of it and shift it into another game save. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Okay, let's spread out the minefield to this side now. On. We got mines on both sides of the field. And then we'll swap them around because one of them is fast cam acid, the other is regular fast cam. Look at this thing. It's fucking Ripley, is what it is. Orders. Thumper! Well, not where I wanted it. Kind of completely useless, too. Oh, Nekumba. So how are you doing with legs-wise? Still pretty darn good back there. This guy's not bad, bad either. I think he's afraid to move because of all the yes, mines. Commander. I wonder if they have to make like a morale check or something to be able to move in a minefield. That's interesting. 50%, 56%, we'll shoot on this guy. Confirmed. Nice, two arm shots. Uh huh. I see you back there. Fucking mine layer truck. We gotta kill that thing fast. Ready for orders. There we go. Nice little red line. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Locked on. How 
much armor does this thing have? Oh, how much? How does a truck have that much armor? Tires would be flat for Christ's sake. Yes, I hear you. Hear you? Can you shoot that mine layer? You're still out of range. I love the fact that Urban Max can shoot 360 degrees. Okay, 61% with a mortar on this guy. 24. Alright, well we know who we're shooting on. This guy just wants to stand there. We'll give it to him. There you go. It's all for you, buddy. Yeah, that bolt-on mortar was a good find. It's weighty, though. I think it weighs, like, is it 8 tons or 6 tons? So, you, you, you can't, like, later mechs can't carry the damn thing without a, uh, without TSM. Commander. But definitely worth it. Okay. Moving out. Where are you? Affirmative. Come on, hit. Uh, I would have hit if we used HE, but if I missed, I could have blown a, blown a hole through the minefields that are out there. I don't want to do that. Flip one's going to die. Yep. He took damage. This guy will take damage. Yep. Yes, Commander. Okay, beef eater. Where's the beef? Once again, oh, you're supposed to target the other guy. Target in the front line units so that the other guys will run into him. Locked on target. Nice. And lifeboat will target this guy. If that marshal doesn't move, I don't need to engage it anymore because that vehicle's going to kill it. How much damage did he take? No idea. Good thing he's inaccurate. No idea how much damage this guy took. Um, tiny amount. Standing by. Alright, lifeboat, you're on this guy. Engaging. Nice. Keep the minefields coming. Keep them coming. Oh, they're standing on each other again. Okay, he took 16 points. Alright. That archer is a major threat. Come on, blow up. Shit. We got the mines off. Guess we're standing still for the rest of the fight. I'm your spaniel. Are ya? Nineteen. Thirty-five. Let's just fire on this guy. May I interest you in some melting armor? There goes his leg. Come on, bail out, buddy. It's weird how the... Uh, the ranking system is like... The mechs that we get are all over the place. Good to go. Where's that crosscut? Actually, let's go up to the archer. Let's heat his ass up. Affirmative. Ready for orders. We can keep him superheated, then uh, problem solved. Target acquired. 
Now we get him. One more for the trash heap. Waiting for orders. Well, at least you can still move. Although, I think we can try and take this guy's leg. Oh, there goes the torso. Did he bail? Mech destroyed. Yeah, piloting. Well, he didn't bail. He got, uh, I guess he got hit in the head one too many. Oh, he got hit in the head. He fell over. And the torso blew up. That took him out. Nice. That's the three. Okay. At least he wasn't a crack pilot. That could have been a bad, uh... That could have been a bad day. Okay. 27 on the blackjack with just the mortar, though. I think that's worth it. I think we just go against the, uh, yeah. Here they come. Alright, a couple points. At least we're doing something. Engaging. Come on, hit. Damn it. No joy. It's so hard trying to choose weapons for these guys. Like you can't choose like nice, there goes that guy's legs. The hard points are there goes that guy's leg. <laughs> Two down. <laughs> so worth it. You know what I mean? You can't choose. You've got like minimal minimal hard points. So you can't choose a lot of Ready for stuff. Uh, let's drop some fast cam on this guy because he's got a PPC. Confirm. So you got to go like... I don't know, like indirect fire is fine, but a lot of the indirect fire weapons are heavy. The mortars, the mortar aid is actually the only thing that I find is relatively worthwhile. It's got enough of a punch. You know, it does consume a fair amount of ammo for for a mortar. He's trying to run, eh? But still, it's like, it's a half decent weapon. An AC-10 is okay, but it's like really all or nothing. At least with the mortars, we're... We, still have a tendency to like do a little bit of damage here or there let's apply one more here AC2 ammo depleted it's fine so he took nine damage receiving you To shoot at this guy. I copy. Ooh, right across his nose. Reporting negative damage. So I'm gonna leave him for the uh, our allies. Okay, he took a bunch of damage there. Acid 1919 points damage. Waiting for orders. I think we gotta keep heating this this guy up. Forty one heat. <laughs> uh enjoy it. It's actually a pretty good chance to hit on this guy. He's firing. firing on target. Yeah, the rack too, I think. You're gonna fire, are you? The rack two is okay. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, see ya. You run the red line, that's what happens, buddy. It's mostly for like peppering legs and trying to destabilize the enemy. I got AP ammo in it, plus precision ammo. I've been going with AP, hoping to get crits yes, with it, I but it hasn't been working all that well. Let's just fire on this guy. I'll do what you ask. Okay. Inflicting heavy damage. How are you? Yes, Commander. Is that what you think?
Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. I'm going to throw the rockets in too to see what happens. Fire it all. Okay, we hit with the uh, Thunderbolt. Inflicted some heavy damage. No short range missiles remaining. That's all right. See ya. See what I mean about OP though? The mines. The way they're implemented right now, it's just too much. He took 13. We're out of mines anyway, so we have to direct fire the rest of these guys. But still, if I loaded these guys up with just fast cam... Receiving you. You know, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, let's go with acid first. Go with acid first, strip his armor, and then we'll uh, finish him up. Yeah, right through the minefield. Enjoy it. Waiting for orders. I think if they implemented the mines, as, as I was saying before, um, it'll probably be a lot better. I'm going to wind this up. Let's go full six. Yeah, garbage. Okay, 18 damage in the legs. Like, if I find more fast cam, mortar ammo, I'm putting it in. I know I said I was leaving this guy to the uh, allies, but okay, he's a stick now, I think. That hit something oh, oh, maybe not. I think he's still got an arm left. Oh, he's just got energy weapons left. Orders. You're running hot, so Locking on target. let's give you a little more, bit more heat to worry about. Commander. All right, manger le boeuf. Let's go after this guy. Oops, I want acid. Here we go. Engaging. So if you're not sure what acid does, it increases the damage by 1% per hit for an X number of turns, and it's stackable, so the more acid you hit him with, the more damage he's going to take. It's just the armor, though. Yes, Commander. It's not to internals. I think this is probably a kill shot, maybe. Pretty darn close. There goes his leg, though. Goes his torso. Yeah, so the more acid you drop on somebody, the more damage they take from um, stuff hitting them the next few rounds. So Reading loud and clear. I've been trying to use the uh, the acid on these guys, or I've been trying to use the acid to uh, damage my opponents early. There we go. Leg gone. Battle mech eliminated. SRMs are out. And then follow up with a guy to do a little, do, do a little bit more damage. Oh, the thunderbolt hit! Solid. Right leg destroyed. Still He's going no down. All right, this is all right. These guys are done. We're on round eight. Round eight. Oof! I don't know what the hell that was. Some kind of uh, aircraft pod weapon of destruction. Orders. Let's go up to this leg and we'll go with the mortar ammo. Or the acid ammo, I mean. Goes his other arm. Come on, bail out, buddy. He got a head hit, too. Commander. All right, lifeboat, same idea. Let's get this guy. 
Leg shot. Inflicted some heavy damage. Come on, buddy, just bail out. That those choppers you. are giving me a, a, a headache. I swear to God, they're just giving me a headache. All right, just flames on the way. I right, took no damage. All right, last six shots. Engaging target. Ah, five points. AC two ammo gone. Hope I can find a mortar to replace that with. Good to go. On it. Nice. Not enough to kill though. Commander. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Leg shot. Here it comes. On. Yeah, crap. That's a miss. Standing by. Here, shoot this down. Target's taking a critical hit. Failed to stand up. Tell me what you need. I don't think he failed, I just think he doesn't want to. He's like, I'm done with this. There's that guy gone. Hostile. You got that. Magashi's having a bad day. I thought they could counterattack. Not on my freaking watch. I don't care about the mines now, so. There it goes. Left leg destroyed. Beautiful. Down. Health minus one of two. <laughs> Mission successful. I am going right now after this battle or after this episode ends and trying to find that those helicopter sound files because oh my god I'm, I've got a headache from just listening to that shit. It's just way too much. The sound is nice but it's just way too much. Okay bolt on AMS we're taking tandem rocket times three. All right this is the heavy one this is where it's got six ton bolt on. Yeah, we don't need that. LRM 20. Medium pulse lasers. Mine dispensers, 15s. One shots, though. And how much do these weigh? Half ton? Endo steel. Improved fire control system. I'm just dropping stuff in because I know we need heat sinks. I was hoping to get some of the last mission, but they never came up. They never showed up in the, uh, ooh, five times, three times carry weight. Uh, they never showed up in the, um, the loot table or, uh, the loot when we got it. Uh, fire. nothing down here that I want. Heavy machine gun ammo. Hmm. Are we out of end of steel? I think we are. Oh, we got one. So I'm going to go up here. There's only one archer part. Let's throw it in. Let's just throw it in. See how it goes. Okay, black shot part, chameleon part, another clint part, crosscut parts, a bunch of mech parts. That's not bad. LRM 20. We've got one. We'll hold on to that one. We'll hang on to the medium pulse laser. Regular machine guns. I think we're just going to ditch the regulars. Uh, primitive armor can go. The 100 core. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it. The 160 can go, I think, though. Multi-track we can hang on to. We did get extra heat sinks, so that's good. Basic sensors, we can go lose that. That can go. That can go. 
All right, so not bad. Not bad. All right, so two very different missions. The attack and defend is definitely way different than the uh, just defend. It's a lot harder when you're using Urban Max to defend against turret fire because you just can't move anywhere, right? And a lot of our weapons just don't have that range. I'm lucky we did have a few late range weapons to be able to kill that base. But um, yeah, the defend missions though, fairly simple, but I think we're gonna go, just gonna keep cranking up the difficulty on those. So I think we're gonna try and go up to like two and a half, three skulls again for the next mission. Um, we'll have six mechs and three vehicles for the next mission though, so that'll be good. And we'll see how it goes. Now our heavy, I mean, it's all urban mechs, so we're not really that heavy. But the enemies are going to get uh, a lot more difficult, that's for sure. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.